Hi and welcome to this YouTube channel. My name is Zangi Muhimi from contbuild.co.ke. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss how to use Bluebeam Revo to take measurements from PDF. We are going to be talking about the area measurement tool and the cutout tools. So what I'll do is I'll open one of the recent PDF drawings that I have here and if you look back to the previous lesson that we had we talked about the user interface of Revo and how to get started so the first thing we talked about was setting up the scale by calibrating the drawing we talked about setting uh, the area and the uh, volume units and the length units so if you look at the right side of my screen i have uh, area in square meters and volume unit as cubic meters with the uh, no decimal places that is i have a precision of one if you want to have zero uh, one decimal place you can have 0 0.1 or 0 0.001 according to your requirements and so uh, the first thing that we are going to do is to calibrate this pdf so i'll go up here under measurement i'll choose calibrate click on ok then i'll zoom by scrolling on the using the the, the, the mouse there's a scroll wheel so how calibration works is you take you take measurements now from two non points so from this point to this other point the the the, the length is known which is 4.3 meters so i will click on this point move my cursor to this other one and click then it will prompt me to enter me enter measurement between the two points and remember we have it in millimeters so this is 4300 and i'll click okay and to confirm whether you have done the right calibration so you now come back to measurement let's say you you measure the length between this point and this other one so as you can see the exist the the, the known measurement is 4.3 meters and we have after calibration 4.3 let's confirm with another one so let me take this two one from this point from here to here which is 5.8 if i get that think this a small margin of error let me see whether i'll get the same thing in the third trial from this point to this should be 3.1 there is a small margin of error of course depending on uh, who was working on the drawing and the scales they used and all those sort of things but now that you understand the concept I want to show you uh, a few a small trick here. So when you are measuring our areas we measure the gross area. Let's say there are some points that we want to remove from uh, or we want to exclude from the area measurement. So what we do is we use the cut out tool. So as the name suggests cut out means it's going to cut out that part from the measurements that we are taking for example let me zoom to this kitchen let's assume you are on site and you want to know the number of tiles you will buy or purchase for the kitchen area so as you can see you have a, a worktop here then you have the rest of the area 
So for you to get the tiling area, there are two ways that you can use. So the first one, you can measure exactly the area that is required. So like for, for now, let's say I'll activate the area measurement. Then I'll measure internally from this point. I'll take that. I'll take this. Now because the assumption is below this worktop, the, the area is not going to be tiled because there is the finishing that is going to be taken or to be installed for, for the worktop. So I'll measure internally like this up to that point and I'll close here. So what I, I'll get is 8 square meters. So now let's say, let's say we measured overall. So I'll delete this measurement. I'll delete all the measurements. Let's say I measured overall the whole area from this corner to that corner to this then I'll close at this end so we have 11 square meters as the floor area for the kitchen so arithmetically what you will do is you will measure the area that is covered by the worktop and then deduct from from the kitchen so now this becomes easier with the cutout tool what the, 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 the only thing that you have to do is you go up here, activate the cutout tool, and then you see when you bring the cursor to the area that is highlighted, it now changes from white to blue. So what you do is you click on this point and highlight, highlight the worktop area. So let me make sure you've captured everything. So what happens is when I click to close, as you can see, the worktop area has been cut out and we remain we are remaining now with 8 square meters and that is the area for, for tiling. That is where we are going to put our floor tiles. So that's how area measurement and cutout tools work in uh, Bluebeam Revo. I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you've learned a new trick or a new thing and I'm very grateful for you choosing to watch this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you the next video.